You know what I want to do right now? I want to grow a tree in the Weather Channel studios. So I have a little water, a little miracle grow, and voila, we get ourselves my favorite tree, the maple tree. There are hundreds of varieties of these in New England, and when they all turn at once, it can be almost fluorescent, even in the middle of the night. That's why I love maple trees. All right, green color. That's what we typically see, right, the spring and summer. What gives that chlorophyll, uh, that, or what gives those leaves that chlorophyll? It's actually a process called photosynthesis. This process occurs with three things. The first thing is we know we get out of winter into spring and summer, sunlight. We can feel the heat of that sun on our face, right? Well, so can the trees. That allows the roots to really pump the sap up through and bust out those buds and boom, all of a sudden you've got leaves. You got to keep that process going. You do that with rainwater, showers and thunderstorms. When they're not there, the tree already starts out stressed. And the third thing, which is always abundant, carbon dioxide. Leaves breathe in that carbon dioxide. And when they do, that creates the sugar and that gives the tree a lot of energy and obviously it's green color. One of the offshoots of that, believe it or not, is oxygen. The tree exhales oxygen. 21% of the air that we breathe actually comes from those leaves that come out in the spring and summer. Awesome. So how do we get to these beautiful, brilliant fall colors? All right, on June 22nd, we start losing daylight. The tree knows this. It says, hey, I'm gonna start shutting down. I've given you my green show. Now I'm gonna start to show you some of the true pigments that actually exist within the leaves, all right? And there are different pigments that make up the predominance of the different leaves in different varieties of trees. Sometimes in maples, you'll have all three of these. The first one is xanthophylls. Uh, if you have a silver maple, for example, you're gonna get a lot of yellow. There's a lot of xanthophylls in a silver maple. Carotenoids. Think of oranges or carrots or squash. That's gonna give it a predominantly an orange color. And anthocyanins, think about apples or red wine. That's the red color. Now, what's key about all these three things is, what about the weather leading up to peak time? Those 30 days before peak, what's the weather like? Well, you have to have things that really come into play here to give us the most brilliant reds like we have on this red maple here. All right, warm sunny days, not too hot and cool, crisp nights. That allows for the effective breakdown of the sugar production and gives us those brilliant fall colors like you see here with that red maple. Now, eventually, the veins that carry the fluids in and out of the leaf actually close off and the leaves begin to fall. They come to rest around the base of the tree and they actually help to nourish when they break down uh, the tree for the next season. That's the cycle, but the great cycle that we call the fall color show.